on the show. I am joined. I'm in the company of uh, founders, and they say that uh, you are judged by the company you keep. Today, I'm in good company of two young CEOs and founders of their own individual ventures. We'll be getting to learn more on what they do. But most importantly, they have a joint business conference, business sustainability conference that is coming up in just a few days. It's all virtual, so it's easy for you to join in at any point anywhere. If you, even if you're at work or even if you're traveling, it will be easy for you to uh, get to tune in and see what is happening. I'm, I'm not going to preempt the activity of the day, that's going to be the work of Amir Thande, who is the CEO and founder of Kenya Accountant Diary. And also on set is Ian Jumwa, who is also founder and CEO of iNow Agency Kenya. Ian will be speaking about digital marketing, while on the other end, Amir will be mostly focusing on financial literacy and financial stability. So let's, let's get into this conversation as you continue sending in your question on uh, social media. Welcome to the show, Jan. Thank you. How are you this morning? I'm doing well. Right. How are you? Oh, right. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, I'm doing well. I have rarely been asked back that question and I you know, get to inquire how people are doing. But thank you and I'm um, hoping I'll be coming to this. Let's start with the, you know, the meat of the bone. I am hoping I have an invite to uh, this uh, conference happening. Absolutely. All right. Mm -hmm. and I really hope that you will Okay. Happy to ask your questions and uh, yeah, it's a, it will be a pretty, um, it will be a pretty open conversation. We'll have a conversation. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, with all panelists and uh, Juma right here. Right. Okay. Let's begin from uh, Juma going uh, that way, uh, so that uh, now we have a roundtable discussion on the this uh, activities of the day and also on. Uh, matters financial literacy and also digital marketing but let's 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 start from you know back then you are informing me that you began from um, what we call um, art uh, I will say art events before we move to corporate and now this is also a corporate event coming up in two days how different is this from you know uh, taking musicians or artists into uh, or organizing an event for artists vis-a-vis -vis organizing a business conference such as this one okay thank you first for hosting us in your show so first of all, I change from art-based entertainment events mm -hmm. to corporate events because like in entertainment events, most of these people, like it's all about music and like looking at the market right now, mm -hmm. most people are into events, mm -hmm. musical events. So like approaching most people to come to an event, it's kind of difficult mm -hmm. to kind of corporate. Mm -hmm. And then differentiating between corporate and based entertainment events, corporates, I think, to me, like most people tend to take it more seriously, mm -hmm. more seriously. Okay. They take you even more seriously mm -hmm. than like eh, the hype and everything. Yeah, you have to be taken <laughs> as a, as a serious guy. Yeah, you have to be considered a serious guy. guy. Yeah. Okay, bro, you have been in this space as well. Um, uh, you'll be you know chiming in on uh, some of the uh, things he's talking about there on entertainment and not being taken seriously. You are in the financial space, which is considered uh, considered a space of serious people. Um, would you say that's the case? That there is a, that kind of difference? Yeah. Um, I, I tend to think that if you don't take your finances seriously, mm -hmm. uh, then uh, you will you'll run into some of the problems that we're facing now, mm -hmm. um, especially when it comes to startups. Mm -hmm. We all have good ideas. Mm -hmm. However, I find that we fail because mm -hmm. we are unable to, to budget. Mm -hmm. We are unable to plan. We are unable to have the financial literacy, mm -hmm. which is the point uh, that me and Jumo decided. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, we need to educate our, our fellow, our fellow uh, youth, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, People with ideas, if you have an idea, come to us. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll discuss how we can plan mm -hmm. for business growth and uh, financial literacy. Right. Let's business. discuss about, uh, you know, both of your companies. You're both founders, young, and uh, venturing into business on your own. You have iNow Agency, if I'm pronouncing correctly there. Mm -hmm. uh, what is our I, I now Agency about, and uh, how long have you been in operation? Okay. iNow Agency, it's a digital marketing platform. This is where we host institutes, corporates, companies, also influencers on board. Mm -hmm. Technically, it's for educating them and also like growing their potential insights on on any about social media. Mm -hmm. Naturally, digital marketing online now it's where we empower, promote, and base your 
company mm -hmm. or yourself mm -hmm. into the industry here. Yeah. All right. So you know, say it's, it's not just business, yeah. but also yeah, we create uh, strategies for you. No, oh, also yeah. personal um, digital marketing yeah. as well. Um, in two days, this conference is going to be focusing on you know brand awareness, financial literacy, content creation, advertising, and marketing. What is the role of uh, now you know digital marketing in creating uh, brand awareness? Uh, digital marketing mostly you can uh, like mostly we use campaigns mm -hmm. we use campaigns okay it depends campaigns vary with time mm -hmm. digital marketing is very critical what's a, what's a campaign you know when we're in this show oh. <laughs> and we're talking about campaigns yeah. people might think we are going political uh, <laughs> okay campaign it's like what's trending at the moment okay what's trending mm -hmm. which word you can use to reach more people mm -hmm. which word is going trending you can use to reach your clients mm -hmm. for more sales for more insights mm -hmm. yeah okay all right Coming back to you now, um, uh, with your own, you know, you are a CEO and your own founder as well. What is the Kenyan Accountant Diary? Uh, KAD, call mm -hmm. it KAD for short. Okay. Um, is a is a consultancy firm. All right. Uh, we do strategies. Uh, we also do, uh, uh, you know, uh, financial financial planning, financial mm -hmm. uh, investments. Mm -hmm. You know, manage your finances, portfolio management as well. Okay. Yes. All right. Is it for individuals or even businesses? We we our current focus on niche is, is on startups mm -hmm. and uh, individuals as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So it's mostly individuals and startups. All right. SMEs. In two days we're having a conference that. Uh, uh, both of you have organized and uh, maybe we'll be getting details about it but first what was the inspiration between you guys coming together to have this virtual conference that we are looking forward um, what we're looking at is is, is um, um, the problems that most people are age are facing because mm -hmm. like you said we're both founders of our own enterprises okay uh, we noticed that some of the challenges that we ran into that we learned the hard way, we can teach someone the soft way, mm. which is what the essence of the whole uh, conference is. You know, mm. teach you how to manage your finances, or to teach you how to market yourself in case you have business and taking advantage of the digital space. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Mm. Bro, is that also um, what are we looking forward to in this event and what inspired, of course, you on your own side to join with the Kenyan Accountant Diary to begin this conference? Okay, first of all, we joined also to do brand awareness. Mm -hmm to do brand awareness in which we expect people to join us virtually mm -hmm. from East Africa, mostly Kenya, mm -hmm. to join us on board. Also, we'll be having other partners who entrepreneurs in short, mm -hmm. who have their own small businesses mm -hmm. and those who have their also big, big companies mm -hmm. can join us on board still. Mm -hmm. So we'll be giving them a chance to showcase also their products during mm -hmm. the panels. Mm -hmm. We are still will be having a panelist for digital and marketing, mm -hmm. digital creation and marketing, mm -hmm. which is me and also we love him for accounting. Mm -hmm. We'll also have another person for content creation. Okay. Yeah. Now, because we are uh, telling people to embrace digital marketing and some strategies here and there, what, in, what insights or what strategies have you used for this uh, event itself as a digital marketer to promote it or to push it towards brand awareness? How have you effectively used your tips uh, for this particular conference? Okay. First of all, we have used the use of media. Mm -hmm. Use of media, you can see us now <laughs> at TV. Yeah, we can count this as well. Yeah, we yes. can count this. We have our media partners mm -hmm. who are Radio Legion. Mm -hmm. Also, we are using our social media platforms. Mm -hmm. We are using emails. Mm -hmm. We are using also ads and small clips from our content creators. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Coming back to you, Amir, yeah. what conversations are we looking forward to around financial literacy and financial stability? Because I see here the one of the hashtags of this conference, if I can pull it up real quick, yeah. the first one was the hashtag Brand Awareness Day, which I'm guessing is <coughs> mostly focusing on his digital marketing. And then there's working towards, hashtag working towards uh, financial stability. What kind of conversations have you set up around this? Uh, we're looking at value addition mm -hmm. and making use of your money. Because okay. um, uh, it's not a matter of having money in your pocket, it's what you mm -hmm. do with the money that matters. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at how we can add value and forward thinking. I'll give you a simple example. Today the dollar hit 150 shillings, yeah. right? Yes. Um, however, if you saved your money in Kenya shillings, uh, it would be losing value, right? Mm -hmm. If you saved in dollars, you'd be hedging, and then you'd be you'd be adding value in your in your savings. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take advantage of, of making investments if you're a risk taker. We mm -hmm. can talk about uh, the level of risk that you want to take and what you can do with your money. Mm -hmm. If you're averse to risk, then you can talk about uh, you know hedging. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. 
and also the sustainable uh, investments. That right. Have I'm here. expecting panelists, as he said, from his side. I'm also expecting panelists from the yes. finance bank. Yes. Okay. Uh, there will be two of us mm -hmm. uh, talking about finance, mm -hmm. me and, uh, and an amazing accountant. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So we'll be talking about that. We'll be talking about, um, uh, you know, what you can do better mm -hmm. uh, and the challenges that most people are facing. Because, like you said, mm -hmm. um, there are uh, there are people who've been there, the people who've been who've had the experience. So we are trying to teach you in, mm -hmm. from our own experience. It's a conversation that we'll be having. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You said you're focusing on startups in matters of uh, financial stability, yeah. which um, guessing are categorized in the small and medium enterprises mm -hmm. that we speak mostly to here mm -hmm. on this show. Why? focus on this kind of uh, uh, segment of people uh, because we find um, startups fail because of lack of lack of, uh, of strategizing you know you cannot mm. strategize well enough mm. um, you also find yeah, no, pesa, love, una eh, eh, una shtuka. Mm. you know expand so fast because mm -hmm. I keep telling people uh, when you see a company expanding too fast Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's a red flag. It's mm -hmm. always a red flag. So uh, most people don't see that. They think that growth is growth. No, it's sustainable growth. It's mm -hmm. taking a step at a time, one brick on top of the other. Mm -hmm. That is what we're looking at. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Great. Coming back to you, uh, while still seeking around startups, digital marketing. When you introduce it to a small enterprise, atakwambia sina pesa kutosha ya digital strategies. Um, what is the expense like, and is it is there a cost-effective strategy towards digital marketing? Yeah, there is. Mm. There is most businesses in Kenya, you can say, most of them, according to my analysis, they don't need, like, opening a shop to run your business. Mm -hmm. If you have a right strategy, you can do it online. Mm -hmm. But most people confuse marketing with posting. Posting is not marketing. Okay, okay. Posting is not marketing. You can have an Instagram account, mm -hmm. you are posting, but that's not marketing. Okay. That's not marketing. Where does the marketing come in? Marketing comes in when, like, you know, pay the ads. Mm -hmm. Like, you should have a strategy. Okay. You should have a strategy. Mm -hmm. If I do this, I will reach my audience. Mm -hmm. After that, the, the better part about digital marketing, you mm -hmm. get the response direct from your, from your clients. Mm -hmm. People tell you, like, you know, we need this and this. We need mm -hmm. an upgrade in this and this. We mm -hmm. need this and this. Mm -hmm. We need this and this and this. And you as a digital marketer or someone with a business relying on digital marketing, mm -hmm. you will need a R. OI, mm -hmm. return on, on investment. investment. Yeah. Right. We need a return on investment. Mm -hmm. So it's not all about fun. Most people, like in our country mostly, they see people take digital marketing as fun. Mm -hmm. Most, they mm -hmm. take as fun. Mm -hmm. Me, if you go through my social media accounts from TikTok, mm -hmm. it's just business throughout. All through. <laughs> okay. Yeah, business advertising, mm -hmm. such. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so you, are you yeah. saying there's no space for fun? That comes when you have <laughs> now the content creation. All oh, right. Yeah, okay. Content creation part. Okay, we'll get to the content creation there and yeah. see how can effectively also integrate within the um, the digital marketing strategies. But let me hear a bit on finance as well. I'm still on that uh, SME startup level. Um, I've asked about you know a cost-effective strategy mm. uh, towards uh, digital marketing, and then maybe for you know a startup that doesn't have that or a business a small business has, has a financial gap how mm. would you advise they do what would you advise they do in approaching you know maybe boosting their own financial um st for financial strategies mm. as well mm. to ensure that they can do effective digital marketing uh in my in my experience i've, I've realized um when it comes to the digital space mm. it gives you an opportunity to target your campaign towards a certain segment and mm. a certain demographic mm. it's not it's not um it's not sika we look on my billboards and then you know it's, it's anyone it's, yeah for anyone, yeah for sure mm -hmm. now you, you have an opportunity for you to target five people that you know will buy you your your product mm. uh, it's not really casting your fish your net uh, white right it's, it's focusing on one thing mm -hmm. which is um, which is cost effective digital marketing is very cost effective compared to other, other, other forms of marketing mm -hmm. um, on top of that uh, it's really easy for you to track your ROIs mm -hmm. for example let's assume you're an influencer um, uh, I can have a code for you for let's say you have a discount code right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so now it's, it's easy for me to track my ROIs because I spent 10,000 on you mm -hmm. and you've brought me back about 100,000 then mm. I, can, I can truly track my ROIs. Through these codes? Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay, so it's easy to, um, it's actually easier it's to market easy. digitally than For it sure. was previously. Yeah, it is. Um, through maybe influencer marketing and uh, some of those other ones that... Uh, and the best part is it gives mm -hmm. everyone an opportunity to market. You know, mm -hmm. you don't have to have 100,000, you can have 5,000 and still um, have a small campaign. Right. You have 100,000 and still have a bigger campaign. 
Right. And it depends on your budget. I think it, it will go even as low as, I, I don't know, 500 or 1,000 yeah. on Facebook yeah, and sure. Instagram? for sure. So yeah. nobody's left out, regardless okay. of your business and your budget and your finances. It doesn't mm. matter. Mm. You've got an opportunity to market yourself. Right. Bro, amazing. while we're still on uh, those metrics, data, what kind of data should a business be looking at uh, when they are uh, maybe conducting before, during, or after um, a digital marketing strategy? Is there data that they can take a look at and then feedback from that to improve their business? Okay, yes, there is. Like for us as in our agency, mm -hmm. we have three phases. Okay. We have the discovery mode, we have the brand consultation, and we also have the development and marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in the first phase, it's where we identify your product or what you do. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, we look at your competitors. What are your competitors doing in the market, digitally and the traditional mm -hmm. method, like without digital marketing, mm -hmm. the means of billboards, mm -hmm. branding matatus, mm -hmm. buses, mm -hmm. and such. Okay. After that, we go to the brand consultation, mm -hmm. which is graphic design. Mm -hmm. Also, if, you do, like, it's, if it's a pack of sugar, like we have various companies of sugar, mm -hmm. we look at which design will fit your brand better. So like you know, like it's all in the eyes. That's After that we walk you through our digital strategies. Mm -hmm. What we are learning the first one mm -hmm. about your competitors. Right. Yeah. Those are the three phases. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's uh, actually a very good walkthrough for someone who's, um, you know, s seeking to come through and get your 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 services. But it sounds like a, a long journey. Is it expensive? It depends. Uh -huh. It depends. What does it depend on? It depends on your product. It mm -hmm. depends on what you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. If it's digital marketing and advertising for clothes, shoes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cheap, mm -hmm. but when it comes to large commodities mm -hmm. or like a service, mm -hmm. well, it's, it's kind of it's yeah. kind of different. Well, when we are on data, still financial metrics. Is there are there financial metrics or data that a business can take a look at, um, Amir, so that you know they can also be informed in financial stability? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's managing your debt. Mm -hmm. You can manage your debt uh, by checking the amount of capital that you're putting in. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, it depends on the amount of risk that you want to take. Mm -hmm. Some people want to start up using debt, which is fair enough, as mm -hmm. long as it's engineered in, a, in the correct way. Mm -hmm. um, uh, then you can also, there are those of them who decide to have capital in cash, mm -hmm. which is still fair enough. Mm -hmm. But then I tend to tell people it's best if, you, if, you, if you're motivated by debt. Debt is a motivator for you. Because mm -hmm. if you're using your own capital, you rarely will you look at um, your, your break-even point, mm -hmm. the amount of money that you, the amount of sales that you must make for you mm -hmm. to pay back your debt. Mm -hmm. However, when it comes to capital, it's, it's always, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's still waters. Okay. It's still waters that, mm. you know, they don't really motivate you as much as moving in a river. Mm. Yeah, so those are some things that we look at. Mm -hmm. uh, we also look at uh, the number of sales that you need to put in, and mm -hmm. the revenue, and the operation costs. Because okay. most people do not look at the operation costs. You know, they want to start up, and then mm -hmm. they pay everybody 100,000, 500,000, you know, it depends. So mm -hmm. uh, operational costs, we cut operational costs as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right now there's um, a lot of economic uncertainty, the current climate. Um, is there a way for financial resilience to also be present yeah. as we grapple with all the issues that are happening? Mm. Um, I, I advise people usually mm -hmm. to um, to have cost centers, allocate every single cost to towards uh, your expenses to every single cost center. Mm -hmm. That way, uh, when, when the economy hits as bad as it might be, as bad as it might get, mm -hmm. um, then you can decide uh, this is not an important uh, expense. Mm -hmm. You can cut down on that. You can decide to spend more on marketing or decide mm -hmm. to cut down on marketing, spend mm -hmm. more on salaries and so on and so forth, depending on the industry that you're in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Mm. Let's talk about uh, content creation here in terms of value addition uh, with uh, my man here, the digital marketing uh, strategist. Um, content creation, imekuwa mingi saizi. There's TikTok lives, there's, you know, TikTok videos. People keep quoting TikTok videos to me on this show um, mm. that they maybe have seen my face somewhere out there in digital marketing. But um, how does content creation bring value addition? Traditionally, um, you know, companies have shied away from content. Even if you 
kujirekord to a Gen Z, kujirekord record, but it seems that there's something to it. It's not just, you know, people having fun on social media. Um, how does content creation bring in addition to, uh, value addition to a brand? Okay, first of all, most people like, like entertainment. Mm. Entertainment is top notch, it's top notch. So like, you find most people like, to promote an service, product or anything, will need a content creation. So you'll need someone. Mm. But mostly it's not just for everyone, it's just not for everyone unless you have analytic mm. about the campaigns which you're going through. Mm. Like for example, you can see most companies, mm. you can see most of the adverts on TV. It's just a content creation, a clip, funny clip or something running through. But mm -hmm. at the end of it it has left with some information about the brand. Mm. That's true. Yeah, it has left with information about the brand, so it gives, it leaves you in a better position. You laugh, and but then, you know, you've seen something there that's relevant to uh, the business. Now, when a business then is speaking a content creator for influencer uh, marketing, um, should they focus on one that aligns with their, with, with their brand? Because there's, there's, there's a very thin line and a debate mostly on, you know, you find someone, uh, Leo, and a push uh, diapers, Kesho and a push a remis, Kesho kutua, um, you know, and a push mama mboga, kesho kutua the politics, you know, there's, then it's become, it becomes a whole confusing space. Traditionally, we know, ukingia kwa TV, kama unawana ni advert ya Coca-Cola, ito ya kwa advert ya Coca-Cola, mambo imeisha, right? Um, kesho kutua wano yo jamaa tena, anakuambia kusu kitu ingine, ama kitu ingine. Is there a way to navigate those murky waters? And, you know, how should a business approach uh, getting a content creator relevant for their digital marketing strategy? Okay, first of all, you should take someone who has like good numbers, mm -hmm. good numbers that varies a lot. Good numbers that are common are good numbers. Mm -hmm. You should like guide you, guide you because uh, he or she is a content creator. Numbers in the followers, am engagement? Uh, engagement, 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 engagement. Engagement. So there's a thousand followers, like any, mm -hmm. maybe a better content or influencer marketing sure. than, mm -hmm. okay. So like uh, I've worked with various influencers, mm -hmm. various influencers. So you get most of them, like they submit their content. Mm -hmm. But even the company, sees Azota itachukua Azota like kiko, Sazineta Shinde Mekatiliwa because they are looking for what mm -hmm. can fit them. Mm -hmm. About someone taking various, mm -hmm. Okay, so you can do anything as much as the, of course, the brand message is um, well communicated. I have a very tricky question here for you, Amir, and um, it's about the current situation, Ambayo Tuko. So there's many ways to navigate this political and tough economic times. You could save, you could invest, you could buy shares, you could. Um, decide to hold on, you know, hold your money and wait. What's the best advice, pro bono, uh, to us here and also to our viewers on, you know, what's the, do I, should I hold my money back, which sometimes could be a good in investment strategy and then invest later. Um, I see here Safaricom has dropped in uh, market dominance in S NSE, so which means it's, it's cheaper to get stock there. Should I buy there um, or should I wait until, you know, things are a bit stable before I can put out my money? Uh, for sure, um, uh, it's better when you invest. Holding on to your money, your money is losing value mm. by every single day. Even now as you speak, your shilling has lost value. The, money, mm. the amount of money you have in, in your pocket now mm -hmm. is worth less in the next minute. Mm -hmm. So it's better, uh, in as much as I encourage saving, it's mm -hmm. saving and investing, not mm -hmm. keeping your money. Uh, and then you find, um, it depends, you can assess your risk. It depends mm -hmm. on the amount of risk that you want to take. Because um, the stock market is, uh, is uh, it's, it's more or less gambling. Mm -hmm. You know, so it depends on the amount of risk that you want to take. Mm -hmm. Either way, the higher the, higher the risk, the, the higher the, the returns. Mm -hmm. so Some will say it's high risk right now with, uh, you know, mass protests. Come on to an attack, invest CBD, and wants to start a shop in Ronald Ngala. So they attack like, hey, na I can't laugh for Mandamano in the disruptive business. Sorry? It's calculated risk. Okay. It's not just risk taking, not every risk pays off. Mm -hmm. It's calculated risks that mm -hmm. pay off. Okay. So um, again, uh, he said he talked about uh, brick and brick and mortar shops. You don't really need that anymore. Uh. Whatever you can do, you can do without having a shop. Mm. So that's that's also a risk that you can take. Okay. Um, yeah, pretty much. That's 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 pretty much it. All yeah. right, gentlemen. Let's speak, let's speak about the business conference again once more, and you know, in depth. What kind of panels are we expecting? Activities from 10 to 2 p.m. Those are 
a couple of hours there for people joining in the live stream what will be happening from 10 all the way to 2 we can start with you okay. first of all we'll be having the panelists mm -hmm. we have different panelists on board mm -hmm. we have accounting panelists we have brand additions panelists. Mm. We also have digital and advertising panelists, and we also have content creation panelists. Mm. Our objective for the conference is to educate people, young entrepreneurs, business owners, and yet to be business owners on how to manage their finance. Mm -hmm. You are going to be looking at digital marketing without <laughs> having a good management of your finance. Mm. Um, As, like, yeah. So you need to be well set. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, we'll be giving churches to young entrepreneurs to showcase their products there, mm -hmm. showcase their products, yeah. Mm -hmm. And also content creation at top notch mm -hmm. because every brand needs audience. Mm -hmm. A brand without an audience it's a corpse. <laughs> mm -hmm, that's true. Yeah, it's a corpse because, like, if me have my own company of sugar, mm -hmm. people need to confirm people are buying my product. Mm -hmm. So even when we have a content creator, he gets an engagement of almost 50k views. Mm -hmm. People see like, uh, Kuna watu wapo wako interested. They're interested. Okay, all right. What we were looking at having a conversation. Basically, mm -hmm. we all share experiences, and then. Uh, we find common ground for all of us. Okay. Uh, I think six panelists, you know, each and everyone has their own experience, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're looking at, having a conversation, basically okay. around around finances and about uh, marketing and content creation. Yes. Right. Yeah. What channels can people use then to join? Because I understand it's virtual, so um, and it's free. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm not giving any uh, wrong information. Yeah. It's free and it's virtual. Where can they find the link and the necessary information? I will be live on uh, Radio Legion. Mm -hmm. We'll be live on Twitter Spaces, uh, Kenyan Accountant Diary, I know agency and Radio Legion on all platforms, Twitter Spaces, YouTube, uh, Facebook, and uh, Instagram. Okay. Yes. Let's get that again, the pages that people should be checking out. Kenyan Accountant Diary, I know agency Kenya, and uh, Radio Legion. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I want us to take a very short break in between so that uh, we can get your last remarks. But... Uh, I believe you have you each have a paper, and um, um, we will be now having a look at a few things that we do here, which is questions. Um, digital marketing, CDO, uh, financial literacy, be a shot at Tuesday. It's a three-man ring, <laughs> so we have a few questions that we usually play on this show. That's to kuchangamsha brain, yeah, brain teaser kidogo here and there to see. Uh, financial stability and digital marketing. <laughs> so if you're at home, we are going to be playing here what we usually do and mark against each other. So in Maswali in a party of let me see before. I am the reigning champion, I always say. Uh, I've beat every single guest who's come to this show. <laughs> and yeah, smart guy. Uh, smart guy. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm waiting for my first defeat. I'm like Mayweather. Nikotuna ma KOs tu nime piga watu hapa kwa isho. So let's get those questions alafu. Tuta exchange papers, tuta mark against each other. Tunapewa, uwa tunapewa 10 seconds per question. Alafu, tuna... Tuna, tuna nini, tuna, ten, tuna 10 seconds per question. Alafu, tuna... So, for this time, I'm going to allow you. One, I'm going to allow one of you to be my co-host and read the questions from there. Um, just look straight here. You can see it, right? So you read us the first question. When you examine, like in Ibadan, sorted to Najibu. Let's go. What's the first question saying? What is IPO in full? What is IPO in full? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. All right, let's go. Question number two. Amir, pens down. Question number two. <laughs> uh, the name of the president who was ousted in Asia. Oh, man. Hmm. Oh, man. It's okay to know one name, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Question number three. Uh, name two CSs that were locked out during the performance reviews meeting. Fubu, I get. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door. 
<laughs> okay, number four. What mm -hmm. does NSSF stand for? What does NSSF stand for? All right, question number five. Which is the longest river in Africa? I'm scope here, bro. Which is the longest river in Africa? Let's go. Question number six. Uh, what is the tallest building in Kenya? What is the tallest building in Kenya? Mm -hmm. What? What is the seventh color of the rainbow? The seventh color of the rainbow? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Richard Okenye <laughs> did what? <laughs> what is Kenya's largest import? What is Kenya's largest import? Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And last question. Uh, last question. We don't seem to have it. Uh, if we can get that replayed from my director so that we finish up. If you're at home and I'd like to be here, you will get to know what your score is. If you beat me, if you beat me, I have something for you. If you beat me at home, Leo, Leo, man. What is Kenya's main source of income? What is Kenya's main source of income? Taxes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I think that's it. Let's mark now. Um better leteni 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 I think pitisha la for me ni pitisha uko. Chukua moja chukua chukua yake. Okay. Chukua yake achukue yangu. Ini yako. The text is That's his. That's yours. Is that yours? This is yours. No, that's mine. You can't mark your own paper, bro. Hey, 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 hey. Kiki ndo sava ufanyo ile siku ya mwisho. Ah, let's go. Question number one was IPO. Mm. IPO is uh, initial public offering, right? Yeah. Okay. What? So that's the answer to the first one. Unasikia mwa yamesema wa? Ajapata. Aya. The ousted president of Niger. I wrote Mohammed. He wrote Mohammed. I wrote Mohammed. Not Mohammed. That's all we know. What's the full name? <laughs> it's Mohammed, so we get it. Mohammed Bazoum. That's mm. what I hear from my director on the other side. Uh, question number three, the CSs who are locked. Name two CSs who are locked. Kila mtu wameandika kuri ya kwanza. Notorious. So I don't know, it's two CSs. If someone wrote one who, that's half a mark, right? So half a mark on Korea. I wrote Korea and Kindiki. Yeah. I know Kindiki is correct. Yeah, yeah the okay. Only link up. You only had Kindiki. Kindiki. All right. <laughs> Next question, NSSF. What does it stand for? Um, National Social Security Fund, I believe. Only a chair national look, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, next question was, uh, what is the longest river in Africa? That has to be River Nile. Easy peasy. Um, tallest building or tallest building in Kenya? It has to be UAP Towers. Britain it's not Towers. Britain Towers. Is it, it's Britain Towers? All right, the gentleman and the time star. This is not the 70s. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, next question: what, what is the seventh color of the rainbow? Violet. Okay, the, it's, it's the, the, the um, mnemonic is Richard Okenye did something something. So and then it ends with violet at the end. So no, Richard Okenye and violet. Kenya, bro. Yeah? <laughs> Can't be Richard Okenye. <laughs> Richard of Kenya. <laughs> Can't be. <laughs> All right, it's violet. Uh, next question was, what is Kenya's largest import? Mm -hmm. What is Kenya's largest import? I don't think I wrote anything there. But here I see sugar. It can't be sugar, no? What's the answer? It's petroleum. Uh, it's petroleum. Eh, no money. Next question was, what is Kenya's biggest source of income? I said taxes, but I ca it can't be that. I wrote agriculture. And the answer is 
Agriculture. Oh man, I'm such a good student. <laughs> Agriculture and I have a blank here. Um, ebu ya kapo score to one. Ilambia mtu akini beat tle amuni ambi. This is. Uh, do I say the scores? <laughs> yes, I say the scores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without the name, okay. Someone has three and a half. I'm not saying who it is, but someone should take it. <laughs> What do I have? You can say mine with my name. You have nine. Nine. Ten. Do you have eight? Ah, na ni likosa gani? Iyo ya, iyo iyo ya petroleum. Iyo petroleum. Can you spell last one? What's the other guy have? Eight. 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 Okay, we can make Kenya before we go to. Ah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's have a dialogue here. All right, thank you guys for um, taking part in that fun session. And um, you know, I'm hoping everyone at home has also taken up uh, a chance to do this brain teaser. Be honest, if you beat me at 10, because I only lost, I only didn't answer one. More than you petroleum. Did you know it's petroleum? Can I just said it's food like stuff. Import. You said it's food, food stuff. stuff. <laughs> That's our biggest export, food. though. Anyway, um, and also now finally to get the final word from you guys about the conference. You know, this is a chance to sell it once more, people to be excited about it, and uh, then you know because it's a value addition, digital marketing, and also uh, financial literacy. Say just a word about each, irrelevant to of course your uh, both of your companies and your ventures. I'll begin this way, and then we can wrap it up. Okay. okay. Um, Jordan Peterson says, uh, if you are afraid to start now, in five years you will still be in the same situation, only worse off. So don't be afraid to start now. If, in case you have any questions, just reach out to us, uh, inbox us, in case you've got uh, need pro bono services. Uh, we're sorry we can't do that for now, but <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll definitely give you some tidbits on, on Friday. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's something for everybody. Okay. Yeah. You've excited some Jordan Peterson fans on this show. Ah. Um, and scare excitement too. <laughs> they never thought he'd be quoted here. <laughs> but there you go. I'm a big fan of Jordan Peterson. Let's uh, finish it up with you. Okay. On um, digital and digital marketing and advertising, they should expect much, much. We'll be going through the five C's on digital marketing and the also six P's on digital marketing, which they include competition, customer consistency, and also customization. On the P's, they'll be expecting to walk them through product pricing, packaging, and processing, which vary with digital marketing. But from that, they all welcome to join us virtually on that day. Mm -hmm. Well, how could at a Sakawa. But thank you, gentlemen, for creating time. I'm looking forward to uh, that virtual conference. It's going to be virtual, so you can uh, check it out on their individual pages as well, I Now Agency, uh, which is uh, on digital marketing. And also, you can check out the Kenyan Accountant Diary, KAD, which is a uh, venture founded by Amir Thande, who's joined us here this morning, and uh, Ian Juma, of course, uh, with uh, I Now Agency. Check them out on social media. Digital marketing, so in ability to push peer social channels. I'm going to TikTok, and I'm going to say, dance. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, influencing uh, marketer, yeah, who has idea to like push brand peer on Friday. Maybe you can uh, have a good pitch to them. You never know. They might have something for you. But on Friday, they definitely have tips for you across financial stability and marketing. Thank you for, I, I see I see a hand here. Okay, I said one, I said one. Like uh, a brand without digital marketing, uh -huh. it's a cops. That's a line of Bill Gates. Oh, that's uh, Bill Gates? Yeah, that's Bill Gates. Ah, because okay. you can't have a brand and you don't have engagement with your customers. Okay. So, yeah. So, I'm a quote Bill Gates. <laughs> so, I'm a, a up Jordan Peterson Kidogo. Sijika kama uko na Elon Musk, tuenda juu zaidi. But that will be it. Let me take this short break. I'll be back with Biashara Tuesday. Continue sending in your feedback on all social channels. I'll have a look at it and then give you a shout out as well. Don't go far. <laughs>